Greetings everyone, welcome to our channel. Each month, Playboy magazine selects a gorgeous woman as that month's playmate and centerfold. Once a year, the best playmate is selected from the previous 12 months and awarded the coveted Playmate of the Year title. Many of these playmates have gone on to successful careers as models, actresses, and celebrities, including the late Anna Nicole Smith, Pamela Anderson, Shannon Tweed, Jenny McCarthy, and most recently, Sarah Jean Underwood. You might recognize some of these names from their time as Playboy Bunnies. Let's get started. Number 10. Shanna Mochler a former Miss USA, Shanna Mochler became a playmate in December 2001. Known for her on-again, off-again relationship and marriage to Blink-182's Travis Barker, her life was chronicled for a short time on NTV's Meet the Barkers. Though the blonde bombshell has had a relatively successful career in television and movies, she may remain better known as the hotter half of the Barkers. Number 9. Jane Mansfield Better known as a bustier version of Marilyn Monroe, February 1955 playmate Jane Mansfield was also considered a sex symbol in the 50s and 60s. With a self-deprecating wit, she knew that she was popular due to her ample chest assets and made sure that she was the center of attention because of them. Enjoying a film, TV, and music career, her life was cut short at the age of 34 after a car crash. Coincidentally, every semi-tractor and trailer is required to have an underride guard, named the Mansfield Guard, due to the fact that she was partially decapitated in the car accident. Number 8. Madonna Madonna's entire persona has revolved around embracing her sexuality, so it was no surprise when she decided to pose for the cover of Playboy in 1985 after the magazine published a collection of nude photos before she began her music career. Number 7. Pamela Anderson Pamela Anderson and Playboy were virtually synonymous for a time. The Baywatch actress has appeared on the cover of Playboy more times than anyone else in the magazine's storied history. Beginning in 1989, Anderson has appeared on 13 different covers, easily cementing her as Hugh's favorite go-to girl. Pamela Anderson rose to prominence after being selected as the February 1990 Playmate of the Month. She was also featured on the cover of Playboy's final nude issue. Number 6. Kelly Monaco As one of the only Playmates to have a legitimate entertainment career after her Playmate appearance in April 1997, Kelly Monaco has created a viable career out of her acting chops. One of the only two non-blondes on this top 10, Kelly has the distinction of being nominated for two daytime Emmys as Samantha McCall on General Hospital. She has also appeared on Dancing with the Stars, which only furthered her popularity as an actress. Number 5. Jenny McCarthy This funny lady was named Miss October 1993 and then POI for 1994. Obviously a voluptuous vixen, she is better known for her crass sense of humor. She has appeared on numerous television shows and movies where she has performed acts described as grotesque or toilet humor at best. Funny thing, she's now living with Jim Carrey, a comedian known for his own unique brand of humor. Number 4. Elizabeth Taylor She is best known as one of the leading actresses in Hollywood. She was first pictured in a Playboy magazine pictorial in the year 1963. At the time, everyone was awestruck by her beauty and Playboy had capitalized her fame. The same year, she became famous for her role in Cleopatra. She earned almost $1 million, which made her the top paid movie star up to that point. Taylor is known for her appearance in the magazine at the right time because of her height of success. Number 3. Marilyn Monroe This blonde bombshell is the woman that most models strive to emulate and has been used as a proverbial yardstick to which all others are compared. With marriages to the likes of Joe DiMaggio and Arthur Miller and relationships with John F. Kennedy, Marilyn Monroe was the archetypal sex symbol throughout her professional career despite her lackluster success at relationships. Her pictures in Playboy were actually taken long before the debut of the magazine in which she premiered not as the first Playmate but as the Sweetheart of the Month in December 1953. And that centerfold not only helped launch Playboy but helped further her career as she gained A-list status as an actress in movies like Some Like It Hot and How to Marry a Millionaire. However, her career and life were ended abruptly at the age of 36 when she was found dead in her home. To this day, the cause of her death is a topic of contention. Was it a suicide or was it murder? 
Either way, the first Playmate has had a lasting impression on Playboy, movies, and popular media in the half century after her death. Number 2. Anna Nicole Smith while Pamela is known to be one of the most popular playmates to be tabloid fodder in the 90s and beyond, she has been surpassed by the number two slot holder. Miss May 1992 and POI 1993, Anna Nicole Smith was initially known as a fuller-figured model that used our number one slot holder as an idol. At some point after modeling for Guess and marrying the Texas oil billionaire J. Howard Marshall, her credibility and image began to slip as her weight increased. After a lengthy court battle over the billion-dollar inheritance of Marshall, she became a public figure again as one of the archetypal train wrecks of celeb reality TV. Anna Nicole then made headlines again as her size shrunk but apparently not her addiction to substances. And in an ironic twist, custody of her daughter and her hefty inheritance became a heated court battle after Anna Nicole's death of an accidental drug overdose. She may forever live in infamy as an example of what not to do with a modeling career rather than for her once voluptuous looks. Number 1. Kim Kardashian Long before she became Kim Kanye West, the reality star promoted the first season of her show, Keep Up With The Kardashians, on Playboy's cover. This remains one of the most popular covers in Kim Kardashian's long list of nude magazine shoots. Kylie Jenner's debut Playboy cover has some similarities to the iconic one Kim Kardashian shot 12 years ago. Bottom line. So these were the top 10 Playboy bunnies of all time. Did you know? The legendary Hugh Hefner who founded the magazine in 1953 passed away in 2017 at 91. Which of these are your favorites? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the bell icon button so that you'll get a notification whenever we post a new video.